everybody back again with another video hope you're doing well hope your life's going well hope today is going well for you and i hope that this week is going well for you so far um, today's wednesday it's actually a very early wednesday morning because well i usually wake up real early to go to work so i said why not make a video hey because i'm actually off today it's actually 2.46 in the morning as I look at my clock and I'm wide awake, wide awake as if it was 2.46 in the afternoon. <laughs> and so I'm actually making tea here. My allergies are kind of acting up still. So definitely got to have the tea with me. Um making the tea I'm very convinced it's the tree pollen the tree pollen is really what aggravated my allergies it kind of gave me a little scratchy throat too as well but it's nothing too bad I was actually kind of achy earlier but I feel better I think I needed some rest um, so as I make my tea here uh, I want to talk about a few things. One thing that I want to talk about, and I don't even know why this is on my mind at this time, but it was just something I was thinking about the fact that I don't know how many how many of y'all watch sports. Let me know in the comments if y'all watch sports. Now, when whatever sporting event, whether it be football, basketball, baseball, whenever that goes to commercial break. Why is it that in the commercials, you'll see like a commercial for fast food and at the end they'll say, oh, they're a proud sponsor of this league or that league, whether it be NBA, NFL or MLB. Why is it that they'll say, oh, for example, um, like McDonald's, they'll be sponsored by some sort of sporting event what whatever it is like I know a while back McDonald's sponsored the Olympics don't y'all think that's crazy that a fast food company sponsors a sporting event because I mean fast food isn't gonna get you in shape and of course I know it's a money thing I know it's about um you know how many dollars the advertiser which would be McDonald's in that case can pay the Olympics to put their name likeness and logo all over everything I know it's about that but just think about how crazy that is McDonald's is not gonna get you in shape none of these fast food places are gonna get you in shape and it's just, it's, it's, I always thought it was funny. <laughs> you know, fast food makes you unhealthy and not want to exercise, but you're watching a whole bunch of athletes that have to eat really healthy, um, play a sport. Like, I just don't get that. Like, and then you go to a state, you, and, and Here's another example. You go to the stadium where a whole bunch of athletes have to play a sport, and all you see is fast food. All you're going to see is pizza, hamburgers, wings, fried foods, a bunch of unhealthy stuff. And it's like, how can, how can that be? Like, that's just so crazy to me when I think about, like, what you know but um what do y'all think about that like that's just it's crazy um i know the last time that i went to a sporting event it was a basketball game it was actually a houston rockets game and this was actually a few years ago i haven't been to a rockets game since um the since uh, if you all follow sports, y'all know who James Harden is and Russell 
Russell Westbrook are. So I haven't been to a Rockets game since those two guys were on the team. And so it was like years ago. But anyway, to get to the main point of the story, I ended up eating before I got to the game because I knew for one all the food was overpriced for two I knew I wasn't going to find anything healthy and um, no I take that back there was one small place I walked around everywhere just looking everywhere I think there was one place that actually sold a salad but the salad was so expensive that it just wasn't even worth buying like I think it was like $10 or something. And it was for a really, really tiny, small salad. And I'm like, no. Nah. I already ate at home anyway because I knew what it was going to be. It was all going to be overpriced. It was overpriced junk. And that's the thing. It's like not only is it junk, but it's all overpriced because you're buying it at a sporting event. And they know that they can do that. And they know you're still going to buy it anyway, even though it's overpriced. So that's how they do things. But they weren't going to get me. They weren't going to get me. That's why I uh, I ate at home. So, you know, <laughs> that's the thing. But I just don't get that. Like, I don't know. And then the sporting events, they advertise fast food. It's just, man, these... I know these fast food companies have deep pockets, but when you really just kind of take a step back and you look at everything from like an open-minded perspective, a perspective of, hey, why is this like this? Why is this like that? And you start asking questions, you realize that it makes absolutely no sense at all for a corporation that profits off of selling bad food to sponsor an event where you have to really be in the best shape of your life to even get a chance to play professional sports. You can't eat fast food like that. Oh, and another thing is fat, um, athletes sponsoring fast food. Athletes sponsoring fast food. That shouldn't even be a sentence. That shouldn't even exist. But yet you have big name athletes that sponsor McDonald's, Burger King, Whataburger. Um, it's just crazy. And I remember hearing a long time ago, um, there was one player though in particular. His I think. His name was Aaron Foster. He played on the Houston Texans. And I, in an interview, he said that he was approached by a, um, I think like a fast food, basically a, a representative of from a fast food company. He didn't give the name, but he said that they wanted him, I think, to promote their food. And he said no, because, you know, it's fast food is bad for you. So. That goes to show, you know, even on that high of a level in professional sports, you still have people who, you know, do have enough morals and ethics to say no. Like, we, I know this food is so bad, and I know this food literally is making people sick, and I can't promote that and have my image associated with fast food. And I still remember that. If y'all can search that up, and you'll see, like, it's very interesting. Um, and that's real. That is real. Um, but, I mean, a lot of, a lot of like, big-name athletes, they don't care. I've seen McDonald's promoted by NFL and NBA athletes. McDonald's, is they're probably, like, the worst one. But, hey, you can't turn that money down even though... You know what McDonald's is doing. And that's just how it is for a lot of guys, you know, on that level. I did eat 
you know, stuff when I would go out to sporting events. And I remember one time I bought this, I think it was some wings and french fries at another Rockets game I went to. This was years ago. And I paid like $15. And I hardly had any wings and I hardly had any fries. And I knew it was a rip off then. But um, I didn't care. I wanted to just enjoy the game. And that's how they want you. They don't want you thinking about the price. They want you to focus on the game so that they can charge whatever they're going to charge. And, you know, you just focus on the game. So here you are. You didn't pay for a ticket. Now here you are paying more money for overpriced food that's bad for you anyway make it make sense i'm sure there's people that have paid 20 25 dollars for a small little plate of wings at a game or a small little burger and fries 20 25 dollars for a burger and fries are you kidding me they don't want you thinking about that they don't they want you to say hey i'm already here i'm hungry i just want to eat what's at the game you know that's that's how they want you they don't want you thinking outside of the box the box that they put you in you know you turn on the tv that's what they want you to think about you turn that tv on they want you thinking about politics sports and buying stuff oh and a bunch of negative news politics sports buying stuff and a bunch of negative news and a bunch of stuff that really doesn't matter. They don't want you really opening your mind and taking on new ideas like that. They want you to be in a box. And when you go to a sporting event and I see nothing but bad food, fast food, it's excellent. The corporations love that, you know. I'm sure um, the... Um, the fast food place that's inside the arena pays money to whoever owns that arena to be there. So it's big business, you know. It's big business for whoever owns that arena. It's big business for the fast food place itself because they know the sales are guaranteed because... You're going to walk by it. You're going to smell the good food. Obviously not good as in healthy food, but it's it tastes good. You're going to smell that food and you're going to say, oh, I want that. You know, I want this. Because remember, fast food, they entice you by smell too. Remember, all of this fast food is um, created by food scientists. And their main job is to make the food as addicting as and as irresistible as possible so you're gonna smell that food you're gonna walk right up and you're gonna pay twenty dollars for a little bitty burger or a little bitty small plate of wings you know sorry had a phone call but that's what they want and it's just something to think about like what do y'all think about that like am i looking at this too deep or what like I think I might be looking at it too deep. <laughs> I don't know. But I haven't gone to a sporting event in about three years. I don't really plan on going to one soon. It's just sports in general. I don't know. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I don't ever watch sports, but just the whole thing of going there. And then you over, you're overpaying for parking too. I remember I was um, I was in downtown Houston and they had an Astros game going on. Obviously, I wasn't like going to the Astros game, um, but there was one parking lot that was charging $60 for parking 
and you still have to walk like a couple of bo- blocks to get there. It ain't like you just pulled right up on the stadium and you paying sixty dollars, even though that would be too expensive too, even if you were doing that. But the fact that you still have to walk two blocks and pay sixty dollars for parking that's just insane and they know people are going to do that (laughs) they know people still gonna pay it people still gonna pull in there and pull out three twenty dollar bills six ten dollar bills and pay that sixty dollars in parking unbelievable it was a place that was real far that was still charging forty dollars to park And I halfway, halfway understand why they do it. It's so that the parking lot doesn't get completely full off fast. And it's only reserved for the people that are willing to pay that high of a price. But still, so far of a walk that you're paying, you know, you're paying $60. Now, don't get me wrong. I like walking. I like exercising. But I'm not paying $60 to walk two blocks to get to the stadium like if i'm gonna pay 60 dollars i better get a parking spot that's right up on the stadium now if i can get like free parking or real really cheap parking like ten dollars or less and i gotta walk four or five blocks i don't mind but you know the insane amounts that they charge and it's just one big old parking lot i mean it's but hey, I guess you gotta make money some way. So I I I see. I see. But um yeah, I mean just fast food, it's just uh it's everywhere. Sporting events, everywhere you look, billboards, advertisements on TV, advertisements on your phone, computer. They have really mastered the art of mass marketing where you just literally advertise anywhere and everywhere you have no real target audience because hey everybody's a human and everybody loves fast food everybody can get addicted to this food so we're just gonna mass market this to everybody you know fast food they've mastered that art unfortunately it's actually a really bad thing it's a bad thing that you know these companies are willing to sell bad food in order to make money i mean when you you know sell fast food your morals have to be gone your ethics have to be gone to do that and they've sold those off for millions and millions of dollars that's just how it works that's how the game works as they say unfortunately very unfortunate because this isn't good but anyway y'all um i really thank you all for watching this video i think i'm gonna bring this one to a close um my allergies aren't acting up because i took some allergy medicine or i mean they were that's why i had to kind of cut parts out of the video but overall it's just i want y'all to think about that fast food and sporting events why is it there why is it strategically placed there why do they strategically have the prices extremely extremely high at these sporting events well they know you're gonna pay it that's why (laughs) yeah yeah um, let me know what y'all think in the comments below because, you know, I don't know. I just be thinking about this type of stuff. But, of course, I hope you were relaxed by this video. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that I was able to kind of open your mind and just kind of think about this stuff. <laughs> it's all a game. It's all to see who can get the most money out of the consumer the most it's all a game it's not a good one though but it's all a game but um i'll probably upload something tomorrow today is wednesday 
what is it, October the 18th, I think. So, I'll probably upload some tomorrow because I'm off today and tomorrow. I'll go back to work Friday, and I think I'm off Saturday. And, uh, you know, um, we'll see, though. We'll see. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching this video. And I all hope you enjoy this good weather. If you're down south, you know we're having some pretty good weather. You know, you can literally go outside at 2 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon and not be burning up from the heat <laughs> for the first time in several months. Um, we've actually had good weather, so I'm definitely going to enjoy that. And uh, with that, you all have a great day.